Hi, I'm Ben. And I'm John. And together we're OCB. Reactions. And today we have the band Cynic uh, with the song Humanoid. Uh, I'm familiar with Cynic. Um, I, I've heard of Cynic. I don't know if I've ever heard anything from them. I remember, well, they, were, they came out in 93, 94. They were part of the Floridian Death Metal Explosion. Okay. I don't know if they really belonged there or not, but they, were, they got lumped in with it. And I remember I always confused them with the band Pestilence, who was kind of proggy, but kind of boring. Oh, so okay. I always kind of avoided Cynic, although the couple Cynic songs I heard, are like, I liked them, and then I would go to the Pestilence albums I had and go like, uh, where's that song? Where's that good song? Oh. <laughs> like, I don't want to go to a different album. I buy another Pestilence album, like, damn it! <laughs> um, I know, and at the guitarist Paul Masvidal, um, He's been in other acts. I, like, I know the name. And, okay. I, and I recognize it as a quality musician. But it's like it's been so long since I've heard a, a, a note from Cynic. It's like this is pretty much been new to me. Okay. Um, well, before we go on, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and share. Get the word out about our show. Go down into the description. We'll have a link to this video. And as we keep harping on it, uh, please uh, go check out our GoFundMe. Uh, we do shoot this show on my cell phone, and we're kind of limited on time with it and whatnot. We went to 29 minutes, 29 minute episodes and whatnot, and all, I mean, even the quality, we'd have improved quality with the, the yeah. actual camera. So, um, but no, uh, you you have familiarity with Cynic. I, like I said, I've heard of them. I probably have heard something of them and just, you know, it's been put out of my mind after so long and yeah. whatnot. I mean, they broke up and then just got back together in 2000. They broke up in the 90s and got back together in 2004. Okay. So I don't, I think this is newer stuff too. I'm not exactly sure, so. All right. Well, um, why don't we go ahead and uh, get this started. See, see where it takes us. Okay, there we go. Did you say that they got lumped in with the death metal scene? Because they came out of the, like, I think they're from Miami. Okay. And they, they just kind of came out at the same time, and they kind of got, I don't know, maybe I just confused them with that. Okay. Um, that's probably what the case, but. You got some interesting stuff going on. Oh, there. yeah. I mean, it's, that guitar line was really intriguing. It really yeah. interesting. Yeah. It's a, so, all right, I want to keep going. It's yeah. just one of those that was like. This is interesting. Yeah.
Because they're not doing it now, but I thought it was, before I forget, I thought it, that was really neat how he would do a line and answer it. Right. It's like, like almost like he was cutting heads with himself. The, the, and I don't want anyone to take me wrong because I actually like the vocalist. I almost wish this song didn't have any vocals in it, though. I'm enjoying this musically so much. Yeah. Um, even like when they drop in the discordant stuff, I like it. Uh, it, it. Don't get me wrong. I like the song with the vocals too. I just love to hear it without them though. Well, the only only knock I have on this is actually the video kind of how it's slowly pulling. Yeah. Out. Like it just, and, just and, I, and I don't like the art for it either. It's for some reason just really disturbing to me. But it's like that's just such a stupid thing to even yeah pay yeah. attention to. It's like and. If I'm listening to the song, like, yeah, this crap, that wouldn't be there. So it's, uh... Yeah. All right, well, keep going. Musically, I, I, I really enjoyed that. I am put in mind of, now I don't take this as a serious comparison, but I'm put in mind of Muse. Uh, j just like the feel of the music with, with the vocals. It I, just, yeah, I, I can see that. That's, um, But no, and my earlier comment about like wanting to hear it without the vocalist, it's not a knock on the vocals. No. Because I, I, I like the vocals. I like the way they sounded with this song. It's just musically, I want to get into it so much. It's like, yeah, I want to hear I want to hear this whole thing without the vocal tracks. Just to... I mean, it, very inventive. Yes. I mean, it's just a cool song. I mean, just, uh, I, I will go back. I'm going to go back now. It's like erase pestilence from my mind and uh <laughs> just i don't know maybe the older cynic that i was listening to was very different or not i don't know because he's he's gone through so many different things right bands and stuff like i'm sure he's matured and grown as a musician um now i'm i'm gonna check out more from him because i i really got into this um the the musicianship's just amazing uh Again, it's another prog band that kind of just like on an island. They're their own thing. Yes. They, they, well, a lot of progs like that though. Just stand. Each individual band just stands apart. Yeah. They they, they bring each musician of the band brings their their uh, you know their own qualities to the table. And uh, no, now it, I wasn't absolutely floored by this. No, I. But anymore, with everything that we you know we listen to, and it's going to be kind of hard to floor us anymore. True. I mean, like, yeah, it didn't completely blow me away, but I found it extremely pleasant. Yes. And I really enjoyed it. Um, other than that, I guess that's about. Yeah, I. I mean, like I, I said it's like I will be listening more, and thank you very much for this, for reminding me this band exists. Yeah. Um, yeah, n no knocks or anything. Uh, thanks for the suggestion. Way better than the last uh, show. 
<laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, fairly well. Thank you. Hey, when you get a chance to, go down into our description and check out our Cafe Press link for our t-shirt.